Finally tonight, this coming Friday marks the 50th anniversary of the assassination of President Kennedy. With each passing year, there are fewer eyewitnesses able to share their stories. Some never have in front of a national television audience, including a Texas doctor named Red Duke. It appears as though something has happened in the motorcade route. President John F. Kennedy was shot at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. He was wounded in an automobile driving from Dallas Airport into downtown Dallas, along with Governor Connolly. 35-year-old fourth-year surgery resident Red Duke was on break at Parkland Memorial Hospital. I heard the chairman of the surgery, Paige Stat. Oh, that was unheralded. I went over to answer the phone. Well, another fellow got there first. I said, what's the matter? And he said, well, the president's been shot. And I, you know, that's so out of character. I mean, I don't even imagine that sort of thing happening. And I actually, for a moment, thought, well, I'm going to get to meet a president. I've never met one of those. When Duke arrived outside the emergency room, it didn't take long to appreciate the gravity of the situation. I saw Mrs. Kennedy with some badly stained clothing, and I thought, ooh, this is not good. You knew as soon as you yeah, saw the yeah, president. When you see that kind of wound, you know what it is. But they said, well, the guy across the hall needs some help. I thought, well, I've got as good a chance to help somebody out there as I do here. So I walked over there, and I didn't know who it was. It's the man in the suit. The man in the suit was Texas Governor John Connolly, who also had been shot and who was not being tended to. Red Duke got to work. Put a chest tube in him and then went through the other maneuvers you have to do to get somebody ready to go to the operating room. If Governor Connolly had not been treated, he well, would have died. A, yeah, he couldn't do that for very long. When you think back on that day, does, does part of it still seem like a dream? Yeah, it's the surreal thing. It, it actually, it's kind of an out-of-body thing. You know, that doesn't happen. Presidential historian and Rice University professor Douglas Brinkley. Red Duke is a trauma doctor. Well, he was there when our nation went into trauma. There's only one word to describe the picture here, and that's grief. And when you think about what the doctors dealt with that day at Parkland, they did a great job because Red Duke recognized Kennedy's dead, I get to go work on John Conley. And of course, Conley not only survived, but went on to have decades active in American politics. Governor Connolly and Red Duke also became great friends and lifelong hunting partners. Connolly passed in 1993, but Duke still hunts today. He also dabbles in painting, but there's one image he can't bring himself to create on canvas. The roses carried by Jackie Kennedy that he found abandoned. That's a hard painting. As I walked out of the room, I pulled my gloves off and threw them to a kick basin, and those roses were upside down in that kick basin, and my gloves fell over it. You think about those roses? Mm hmm. Did this morning. When he's not painting, Duke teaches medical students and still treats patients today. At 85, he says he has no plans to retire.